Hello and welcome! Today I'll be going over Halia patch 0 0.178 patch notes. Um, yeah, let's get right into it and see uh, what's in store. Here's a nice little screenshot here. It's a nice little set here. Very, very pretty actually. Some of these items I think I've seen before. Um, but yeah, nothing really noteworthy I want to mention here. Flowers are in bloom, and so is this patch. Spring is in the air, which is the theme of this week's update. And you can see it with our new temple, our new decor, and entirely new flowers and trees system. Also, Palea has arrived at the steam station. Welcome home to all our new Paleans. That is super exciting, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, that's awesome. At a glance, explore the all new Temple of the Roots. Grow up your garden with the new flowers and tree system. Love blooms when you find your special someone to have, honor, love, hold, keep, or cherish. Halia on Steam. Controller rebinding is now supported for both PC and Switch. Ooh, that's a big one. Frogbird, no said. Cool. Uh. Let's just kind of go down the line and see what's here. New features and updates. The Temple of the Roots is now available for your, for you to explore. All right, so just looking at this picture, there seems to be a lot going on. This is like some kind of laser, maybe some kind of puzzle going on here. Uh, it's a very interesting setup in the sense that there's like different levels to this area. I like the shrubbery that I see here. Very, very nice. Um, and also I see some, it looks almost kind of Paltech-y with this here, with these little carts and things, but, um, maybe I, I'm probably wrong just because this is more of just like ancient human technology, it looks like. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a really pretty looking temple. I, I like, you know, how the, the sun comes from like the sky up here, but you can't really see the sky and it's just kind of creeping into this area. Very nice. The next big chapter of Paleo's story is here, with plenty of puzzles and hidden secrets abound. We hope players enjoy putting on their best spelunking hat and discovering all the details, big and small, that we've put into this earthbound area. Beginning this questline requires completion of the quest Vault of the Gales to begin. Speak with Einar to kick off the ad- No! No! Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back there and see if they fixed the temple because I know they said they fixed it before but I still couldn't progress and if it's fixed now, great. But I have not been able to finish Vault of the Gales. So... I guess we'll have to see. Oh no, I'm gonna have to- I'm gonna have to check on that. A new vault has been added for the Temple of the Roots. There is a very special reward for completing the bundle. The final remaining pieces of the Emberborn furniture set are now available. Wow. Got like a little, what is this, like a jacuzzi kind of thing? That's pretty neat. A little jacuzzi. I'm guessing you could probably turn this on and off with the water. That's, that's pretty cool. I hope you can sit in here. That would be nice. I like this like hanging flower pot. We don't really have a lot of these, so that's kind of nice to see. And uh, yeah, not too bad. This is very, this is very interesting. I like this and, and this cute little plush as well, too. All right, continuing. You'll receive the Emberborn Reed Planter recipe from completing the Temple of the Roots, and this will trigger inspiration for the rest of the items. OK, so basically, once you get that first recipe and you make that first thing, uh, you'll just be able to learn the other stuff as you continue to make more and more of the set. You can now obtain flower seeds from insects and grow them in your housing plot. I think that's really interesting. I wonder if the insects that you like the bugs that you get are going to have um, like, for example, the ones that have like silk thread, right? I wonder if those are not going to have this and maybe all the other normal bugs will. That would make a lot of sense to me. But if it's like random types of seeds, that does kind of worry me because like I guess my question is, is the specific seed going to be tied to a specific bug? Because if that's the case, it'll be a lot easier for me to uh, figure that out. But I, I do want to collect all of the shrubbery, so we will have to see. We can't wait to see all the beautiful gardens Paleans will make 
with these flowers and be sure to expect even more options in the future. Flowers are grown in two stages and will advance in their growth with diligent watering. <laughs> diligent! Interesting. They do not need to be planted in garden soil, so plant them where, whenever, sorry, wherever your heart desires. That's kind of, I, I really like this. I remember when they announced this, I was super excited. So we'll see. Every time you catch an insect in Kilima, not in Bahari, there will be a chance for it to drop a flower seed. Or for those who are less insect inclined, Ani will also be providing these seeds in his guild store. See if you can collect them all. Nice. Okay. So, okay. So it looks like even if you can't find the one that you want, you can just go to Ani. That's kind of nice. Gardenia flower, blue hydrangea, pink hydrangea, mixed hydrangea, rose, anemones, grimmel kin tail, tulips, uh, choppa tail, cotton ball, lavender, or Cynthia, wait, for Scythia, and tiger lilies. Interesting. Okay. Additionally, the tree seeds will work a little differently now. Trees will now need to grow when planted. Seeds will still be dropped from chopped trees, and when planted on your plot, they'll start small. But planted trees will grow into their gorgeous adult sizes over time and watering. Trees will have four growth stages and can be chopped down at any time. We also have four different types of trees to collect. So there's birch trees, oak trees, pine trees, and juniper trees. A new springtime furniture set from your favorite bard. Okay. Fresh from Bodger's crop store, he are his picks for furniture. The Spring Fever Set. Three recipes will be available from the store, which will then unlock inspiration for the other what for the others once crafting. This includes the and then it shows a bunch of like a big list here of uh, items. So uh, I'm not going to read them all, but I think the most uh, interesting ones I see here are the trellises, the trelli, trellises. I don't know if uh, there's a plural word, word, a plural word for trellis, but if there is, I meant to use it here. <laughs> Uh, and also I see there's a swing here, the spring fever swing. I think that's the swing we saw in uh, earlier photos. So that's kind of exciting. And possibly even more exciting, a new invention Bajru calls Garden Edges. You can scoop up the following. So, oh, okay, so it looks like I was right about um, the edging because I think I went over the last uh, dev update. I think it was like dev update number six and um, I remember in one of the photos, I think I mentioned, hey, I think I see like some edging here or, or I didn't know what it was called. Um, but yeah, the fact that I see this here and there's a rock version and a wood version is actually really cool. A giant frog plush has invaded Kilima village. What does he want? Does he come in peace? <laughs> Several improvements to climbing have been made. Let's see. Overall, it should feel better. We know a lot of folks have been uh, have given feedback on this and it's been an ongoing project that we can finally say is now in the game of course there is always room for improvement so we welcome feedback and suggestions okay so this whole thing about the climbing i mean i'm sure you guys have seen some of my uh my silent playthrough series and a lot of the struggling of me climbing up walls and stuff and also when i tried to do temple of the gales um I had a lot of problems getting from area to area, so I can see, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this actually works. Um, I don't know, I might also do a, uh, a check to see what controller feels like for this game now, that things have been uh, added, so additional controller support features have been added and stuff like that. I might look into that, I might do a comparison video, you guys let me know if you want to see that. I don't, I don't know if um, that would interest any of you guys, so I'm just going to throw that out there as a possibility. Controller hotkeys can now be rebound. Yay! Palia, or sorry, Palia now has partial support for PlayStation DualShock and DualSense controllers. Hell yeah, that's my stuff right there. If you play on PC, you will need to redo uh, any custom keybinds you may have had. Some combinations of bindings may result in issues. If you see these, make sure to submit a support ticket. For Nio fans, he has now additional animations, especially when idling. Nice! There's other, there's other NPCs who need stuff like that, but we'll see. More characterization, more handsome. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> 
We've also made improvements to the new player experience. TLDR, new players won't have to travel around as much as we've shifted key villagers around to be easier to get to while you're finishing up those early quests. Okay, that's kind of weird. The Prove Your quest line has gotten a few adjustments. Prove Your Generosity now requires only one player request. Prove Your Devotion now requires the tree grows to maturity. Okay, that last one makes sense. The first one, I don't remember how many people you needed to, uh, for this, but okay. Premium store updates. Three new outfit bundles have been added to the premium store available immediately. And this is like the wedding gear. Um, so there you go. Uh, I'm not really going to comment too much on this. I can't afford it, but uh, it looks nice, I guess. Not too bad. When two or more Paleans wearing an outfit from either the bridal party set or the well-groomed set are near each other, there will be a special effect. It grows, sorry, it grows as more people gather together in these outfits up to five players. That's really cute. I love that. A wedding glider bundle is now available for purchase. There are four wedding party gliders that can be purchased for 425 Paleo coins each, or get the set of all four for 1,061 Paleo coins. Got that dog in you? <laughs> what? The hot dog. The hot dog bundle. 1700 okay so this is the this is the bundle that we uh sorry this is the outfit we saw in the i believe the trailer for this patch so um kind of interesting continuing it's definitely i think this is the the first actually i'm gonna say i think this is the first like silly outfit we've gotten um so that's definitely something kind of interesting four additional outfit bundles will be added to the premium store on april 9th Okay, so we have a few more sets. I like this one a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, they all look really nice. Really cool. Uh, let's see, we got... We got like four different sets. Okay, I just I just quickly looked through it. Here we go. Top bug fixes. The biggest fixes. Cross-region travel, aka the ability to play with your friends worldwide, is officially fixed. We have for sure, for real this time, fixed the last of the silver winging it quest bugs. And final gusts of wind should now activate, allowing you to complete the quest. Okay, so this is what I had trouble with. That was literally holding me back. So hopefully, so hopefully it is fixed. <laughs> we finally gently uh, prized our villagers to move along from your housing plots. What? Wait, is it prized or prist? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Villagers should no longer hang out on your plots while refusing to speak with you. Okay, good, because that's that's been weird. Mujin are back! I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even notice they were gone. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> our beloved Bahari Green Cylinders, aka Silchan, have scooted away perhaps their natural predators are mujin oh yeah so those cylinders those are the ones near the the shore uh that i was pointing out in some of my um in i remember in like i think a few of my uh playthrough series videos or silent playthroughs for Palea, there was actually a few cylinders near the beach and i was like what the heck is this and it's just like you could walk through it you could sit inside it it was just the weirdest thing <laughs> Gameplay. Fix an issue where the guild store icons weren't properly appearing for villagers with stores. Yep, I saw that problem. We've talked to Tamala about being welcoming and a good host to her human friends. Her house should no longer cause crashes. Okay, I haven't actually seen that happen, but that's interesting. Quests. The reward for the fishing for answers quest can now be sold. Okay. Uh, I don't remember what the reward is, but okay. <laughs> social okay fix an issue where players could not unblock other players go ahead mend those friendships we won't stop you anymore fix chat formatting issues where occurring uh that were occurring when players were writing in spanish or korean wow that's really specific but okay housing fix an issue where the h menus camera was zooming out way too much 
fixed an issue where players could not have housing plot name changes. Okay, so this right here, that has been an issue for me. And it's actually, I think, prevented me even from getting like an achievement. So I wonder if when I log in, I'm gonna actually just automatically get that achievement. It'll be really strange or interesting to see if that is the case. Um, let's see, cosmetics, fix a bug where players were not seeing their own character when trying on cosmetics in the premium store. The new chef, sorry, the home chef outfit had a thumbtail that didn't look to be properly textured. This visual bug is fixed. Visual audio and menus fix a bug where sinks were playing running water audio when the sink was off and no audio when the sink was on. Spooky. Okay, yeah, I've seen that. Very interesting. Top, uh, let's see, top known issues. Emergency, uh, sorry, emerging. I should have said emergency. Oh my God. Emerging known issues as of 325. We are aware of an issue where when accessing the premium store in languages other than English, our new cosmetics may not have their names displayed. They should be displayed in your wardrobe when purchased. There are issues when suddenly your game may stop accepting your inputs. At this point, the game will need to be restarted. If you see this issue, please submit a support ticket with your closest memory of your sequence of actions before you froze. Thank you so much. Achievement progress is not correctly persisting when accessing the same account on different machines, such as from PC to PC or PC to Switch. Rest assured, your achievements are still there, even if you can't see them on a specific system. Players may see an error code 409 when adding friends to their friends list. This is due to players having more than 200 friends or pending friends. We're working on adjusting this error to be more communicative. Quality and speedy grow and speed grow fertilizer do not boost garden crops sometimes. It's a little inconsistent when this appears, so make sure you're submitting tickets if this happens to you. Honestly, I have not noticed, but uh, if it does happen, I will make sure to send in a ticket. Face covers such as masks will continue to appear on your character when trying on other outfits. Okay, good, because <laughs> I was wondering, because I know when I was looking through the premium store, I was just kind of like, man, it's too bad you can't like put them all together because normally you can mix and match the outfits so uh that's really interesting we are aware that there can be some missing input icons or some wonky formatting when navigating menus on a controller on pc our devs are hard at work cleaning out these bugs okay so really interesting patch nothing too surprising here a lot of this stuff was already kind of revealed um but yeah the biggest i think the biggest things is now you can get the game on steam uh, you can also now get the, um, you can get the temple duns, hopefully, both of them, the gales and the, um, temple of the roots, so we will see how that goes. I'm gonna try and get temple of the gales done, uh, maybe tonight, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I like this swing. There's a lot of really cool furniture items that we got this time around, but I think the thing that really was probably one of the more, uh, interesting parts were definitely the plants that you can place without needing, like, a, a place, like, a plot to put them, and they just grow out of the ground. Like, that's really nice. I wonder if we're gonna see stuff like that through, like, empty flower pots. Like, I, I hope that at some point we get, like, empty flower plots and we can just, like, plant the seeds in them uh that would be really nice uh so or like vases or something like if you can pick the flowers and put them in a vase i don't know if that's already a thing i guess i'm gonna have to log in and find out but yeah uh you guys tell me what you think i thought there was a lot of cool stuff in here probably very very nice patch um as long as there's not too many game breaking bugs i think we should be fine but uh yeah and uh one last thing i just want to mention so if you um sign in i think before april 25th i think that's when you have uh, i think that's the time you have to claim your frogbert so frogbert is like the reward for like wishlisting the frog um on steam so if uh i i don't know how far we've actually made it in the goals we, we might have reached the goal i don't know but uh if that has happened regardless whatever size frogbert we get uh, I'm pretty sure that you have to claim him before April 25th. So make sure you log in uh, before then to claim your prize. Um, I could be wrong on the date, but I, I like vaguely remember reading that today. So, uh, you know, take that with, with the, you know, maybe d double check, verify. But um, yeah, 
Good luck, and I will see you out there in Palea. I hope you have a great day, and as always, Sholo out.